Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us for another edition of Hudson County Review Live. I'm still the man of the hour, still too sweet to be sour, John R. Highness, and today we're joined with West New York Department of Public Safety Commissioner and Mayoral Hopeful, Gabriel Rodriguez. Gabe, great to have you. How are you doing, John? Thanks for having me. I'm doing fantastic, thank you. So, Gabe, obviously there's no shortage of things to talk about in West New York, needless to tell you. So, first of all, let's just talk a little bit about the Department of Public Safety. You've been there uh, two months now? Three months? A little bit over two months. So, just tell us a little bit about the department and some of the endeavors you guys have encountered ever since you've uh, taken over and some things that you have planned uh, for the future. Well, the first thing we did uh, was implement a holiday uh, welcome program on Bergen Line, which I know you covered. Yes. Uh, but that was very, very uh, exciting to do because it was the first time in many years that we brought that back. Uh, it was a hit during the holiday season. You know, the merchants liked it, the residents liked it. It eased the traffic and uh, made people feel a little bit safer. Uh, and then I would say it increased, uh, you know, the uh, the presence of, of uh, consumers on Bergen Line Avenue during the holidays. That's what you want in the community. The, the merchants are very happy about it. Uh, we're very happy about it, and uh, and that's what we, that was a big part of us wanting to expand uh, the community policing walking program, which is just something that we're looking to do. Uh, I announced it at our last meeting, uh, and that's probably the uh, one of the bigger projects that we're looking to unfold uh, this month. Oh, excellent. So, all right, so we'll be hearing details soon. So, as you're well aware, Mayor Roque has spoken many times about hiring 30 officers, uh, give or take a couple, during his tenure. So, you know, in the coming, let's say, four years, if you uh, are re-elected, what do you, what's your plans on keeping the department, you know, strong and robust and having a good presence in the streets? Well, my plan is to have exactly the amount of officers that, that, the, that the department is supposed to have. He says that he hired 30 officers, which is true, but we're still down officers. Uh, so we're not operating at full capacity, so to speak. The Do you know the number the full capacity should be? Uh, well, technically we're down seven officers. Okay. Uh, and so I believe it's 133 to be exact. Mm -hmm. So we're down seven officers. The point is to not only work at capacity, but expand the personnel, uh, which is a goal of mine. You know, you're asking out to you, we're looking to expand the personnel so that we're, we're operating at capacity and then bring on some more officers. Because at the end of the day, that is, I think, what the community wants. They want more presence on the streets. And I think that that is uh, a number one factor in, in public safety for Western right now. All right, very good, Commissioner. So, obviously, I need to talk to you about this whole thing with the surveillance camera situation. Uh, that day when I saw you at 61st and Park, I think that's the most fired up I've ever seen you in the four or so years we've known each other. So you were obviously pretty, uh, pretty heated and uh, I think most people are aware why, but I'm sure some are not. So just tell me a little bit why this whole proposal slash press conference really got under your skin and why you felt it was necessary Correct. to uh, make your presence felt that day. Well, well I, mean, let's, I mean, let's begin by saying I, I really, for the mayor, I don't think this is really about public safety and that's one of the reasons I, I'm upset because he's he's using this political posture to show that he cares about, about public safety. He had public safety for eight years and never did he propose anything this magnitude, no new programs, no new projects, and so to say this now uh, is too little too late. Uh, it's not a coincidence that it's 74 days before the campaign that now he has this, what he thinks is a brilliant plan to spend half a million dollars on cameras. Cameras are important, we understand, but they don't prevent crime. Good police officers prevent crime. They may help uh, solve crimes, but they don't prevent crime. And that's, that is our main focus, is getting more cops on the street, more community policing. Uh, we can review the plan. I said it at the meeting. We can review uh, where, with police officers, with professionals, where they think cameras may be needed, and look at the budget and, and, and look at it in that way. But to propose a, a, a resolution uh, illegally, because if the resolution was done illegally, um, he curtailed the process, the RFP process completely. There was no bid. Uh, shows that, and, and I mean, how can a mayor who's been a mayor for eight years not know the proper protocol for going into a contract with a company, especially uh, of this magnitude? It, it shows that he's just using this to uh, to politically posture, like I said. Just a couple of weeks ago, we had an ordinance that took many months of work 
that would have put cameras in certain areas in the community, along with improving the other stadiums, Centennial Field and McEldowney Field. Uh, so not only is, is, was that an ordinance that would have fixed uh, uh, facilities where our, our children play safely and, 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 and put cameras up, uh, but it, it would have, have, have added uh, uh, that level of safety that he says this 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 system this uh, new resolution would have on, and he blocked it. So, do you really want cameras? You, you had an opportunity to vote for something then and there, and you blocked it. So, what does that say? That that says that that person really doesn't care about public safety and doesn't care about providing better facilities for children. That's what that tells me. So, two things on that. Of course, we could go on this topic for a long time, but. You know, I will uh, try to be succinct, but two things I did want to follow up on. So number one, the mayor has said that this ad hoc resolution, which was of course introduced moments before you guys were able to vote on it, mm -hmm. this ad hoc resolution, he says, was just to explore the possibility of bringing a vendor on. It didn't actually appoint a vendor, it was number one. And number two, about the Miller Stadium improvements at uh, Michael Daddy Field, he was saying, he said, quote unquote, that this was 35 times more expensive than his plan had, you know, just a fraction of the cameras that he was hoping to introduce. So your thoughts on that? Well, the, the plan encompassed fixing the entire stadium and in a, a whole other field and, and, a, and another another park and the roof of the public works department. I think that's a significantly bigger project. Of course, it's going to cost more, but if you're trying to put a price on quality of life, and the quality of our facilities for our kids, maybe, I mean, I'm not going to do that. I think they're worth it. Uh, and, and, and to say, and, and of course, again, it also included cameras in, in said areas that the police department have actually been to be a, a little problematic. And so if cameras were important to you, why didn't you vote for that? If kids were important to you, why didn't you vote for this? I, I don't understand who votes or who blocks a proposal to fix facilities for children in, that included cameras, if cameras was your is your claim to fame, it's it's John. It's a little, it's too little, too late at this point. Uh, I think he's scrambling, and, and he knows it. And and to say that we, because we we did not vote for for the resolution, uh, equates to we not caring for public safety. This is it's a it's a political trick. If I didn't, if we didn't care about public safety, then why would I be so uh, um, adamant about putting more cops on the street? You know, I, I think it's at this point it's a little silly uh, of him to think he, he knows that that's an improper uh, way to put a resolution out. That's not how, how things work. So. Fair enough. So, Commissioner, with all that said, let's uh, let's rewind for a moment here. So, obviously, there was a time, mm -hmm. relatively recent on the calendar, you know, 2015, you ran with the mayor, and uh, two of your running mates also, and everybody seemed to be, you know, working well together for about three years of change, right? And then, obviously, a time came when you guys decided that you didn't like the direction of this administration. So, I just wanted to see, you know, what was that? Can you pinpoint that actual moment or moments in time you felt it was? Time for a change, and it was time for you to uh, step up to the plate and challenge the mayor. I, I don't. I actually don't view it in that way. I think it was the mayor that broke away from us. Okay. And and, 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 and I guess uh, you know, Commissioner Kyle Kershaw followed him. We tried working with him, and I told you this before, John. We we really tried working with this mayor. But it's it's nearly impossible. And you know, these are the examples why. You know, last minute. Uh, knee-jerk reactions to things, things that are blatantly just not true. Um, eight years as a mayor, no changes in public safety, really no new proposals, no new projects. And, and while we did do certain things from 2015 till now, I feel like we can do so much more, uh, but not with this this, uh, this mayor, not with this lack of leadership. It's just not what this community wants and where it needs to progress. We deserve more of so much more. All right. Now, uh, Gabriel, on that point, when you're looking at the New Beginnings West New York team and you're looking at the Yorkies, uh, the particular progress team, what are the stark differences that really jump out at you? Obviously, you're on the ballot, so it's hard for you to take an objective view, but the best you could. Just tell me those differences. I mean, I, I, love, well, I love talking about my team. <laughs> I, you know, our team is diverse. Uh, we're passionate. Members of this community that already are giving back to this community, already serving this community. Uh, you know, you have, obviously, 
Commissioner Hasmus Cirillo, we know what that's about. We know, we know what, he, what, he, what he's contributed to this community as a commissioner, serving prior of the community in that way. Margarita Guzman, a teacher, uh, and what she's done with the Parks Department, Cultural Affairs, and then our new, uh, our new, our newest members of the team, Victor Guerrero and Yolesi Giannis. Um, you know, Victor has a, a, a very a long background or, or, or history of serving this community, particularly the seniors. Um, from a government standpoint, because he worked uh, under uh, Western New York for the senior program, and then went on to open his own business, uh, you know, opening up a, a senior daycare center. So he's got uh, that level of commitment. And then you have uh, Mr. Lacey Giannis, who is a director uh, for special services in our, in our school district, a passion for children, a passion for children with special needs. And so what we have is a team of people who are not new to the game of public service, who are already doing that at home, not only in their careers, but in their own time. And I think that's what the community wants. I think that's what Western New York needs. Uh, they're passionate about projects that they that they want to be involved with. And, and that's all we want, people who are coming to the table with a real interest uh, to serve and move this community forward. So if your whole slate is elected, or even the majority of the slate is elected, and you do end up being the next mayor of West New York, could you give me two or three initiatives that are most important to you that you would like to see accomplished in your first four year term? Well, to go back to our public safety program, we would love uh, to expand our, our, our police department, uh, you know, uh, hiring more cops. Uh, we're looking at seeing how we can uh, improve the precinct, uh, headquarters, and, and then not only that, um, uh, seeing how we can uh, involve the community more with our police department. You know, community policing is, is something that I, I think is, is a, a vital aspect uh, to urban living. Uh, incorporate children even more uh, to have those relationships with our officers and those are the things that, that we're looking at. Um, I think everybody can agree that parking is an issue in this community with the third largest, uh, most densely populated uh, city, not only in the state, but in the nation. And so that translates into lack of parking. Uh, you know, it's, we hear this when we knock on doors, we hear this when we speak to people, um, when we walk the avenues, it's an issue, not only uh, for them, but for us as well. And so uh, we need an initiative to, to, look, at this, to, to look at this issue head on something that the mayor has never done. I, I, he knows that it's an issue, but he chooses not to. Uh, we want to, to do a study and see how we can improve the, the uh, parking overall in the town. And another issue is uh, town cleanliness. Uh, when I had public works, you know, we, we established a sanitation division, we did a, a Go Green program, uh, but there, these are the types of programs that we want to create awareness on the importance of cleanliness and, and, and and create that sense of community that is needed uh, so the town looks cleaner and better for, for our residents. Those are just some of the things that, that, that we want to do. Um, I know that, that some of the members of the team want to expand the senior programs uh, and you know, create a, a better bridge between the town and the Board of Education, which is always good because, you know, like I always say, we're a small town, but we're a very big community. And those, those relationships are important. So it's probably look good on the button. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it'll look good on a button, but it looks good on a town. Okay. Um, and so, you know, we're excited, John. This is, this is you know, our, our slogan is New Beginnings because that's what we want for the community. We've got, we've got ideas uh, that we want to that we bring, want to bring to the community and ideas that the community has brought to us that we want to share with the rest of the community. So uh, we're just very excited. We're staying positive. 74 days to go. 74 days to go. Uh, to, to what I think is going to be a victory for everybody. Okay. Now, you obviously just spoke to me uh, at us, really, at length about the parking. So, there was a resolution in the summer that the Board of Commissioners passed about potentially doing a study about uh, whether or not the parking authority was making money, and there's been a lot of talk about it potentially being dissolved. Do you, do you, could you tell us an update about where that stands? Well, we, we did a study because I think, you know, when you want to see where things are, you have to perform a study like we want to do for so many other things. We did a parking study to see uh, where the parking authority was. We're still reviewing it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on now. You know, there's, there's no decision made as of right now, but I think 
uh, in order to make a decision and figure out what direction you want to take, you need to do a proper study, and that's what we did a study on the parking authority, and that's the plan to do on uh, uh, the plan to do for other for other areas of concern. I mean, how can we move forward without a study? And that's what we did. Okay. So one other thing that I wanted to put out there today was uh, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one sort of heavyweight showdown, if you will, between you and the mayor, whether it's more of a battle royale, five on five. Would you uh, be interested and committed to doing a debate before May 14, so the residents could hear your respective platforms and you know make an informed decision at the polls? I have no problem doing a debate uh, because I have no problem sharing uh, our goals and our ideas. We do it every day when we knock on doors. We do it every day when we speak to people like you. When we walk down the avenue, when we have lunch and we speak to new people, we're constantly sharing our ideas, so I have no problem doing it in a debate format. Um, I mean, good luck getting a hold of, of Mayor Roque, uh, who's, you know, uh, unavailable most of the time. Uh, you know, you've told me yourself it's hard to, to, to track him down, but, you know, just this, this another factor, you know, availability. That's what we want to have with this community. We want to be available to them. Well, I'll certainly put the offer on the table. Sure. You know, I've got my fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm going to bring that for you, as you know, we've done right, some other right, right. communities, and etc. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm hoping we can do that for North Hudson, in this case, West New York. So, I'll certainly keep you posted. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Commissioner, with that, I mean, I think we've touched on a lot today. Is there anything else you wanted to tell uh, some of the residents, some of the voters, before we call in a weekend here? Sure. I mean, we look forward to knocking on your doors, to meeting those of you who we haven't met yet. Uh, I am looking forward to, to, to being a mayor for this community. I was born and raised in West New York. West New York is, is highly responsible for a lot of the things uh, that have made me the man that I am today. And I just want to be able to give back uh, to this beautiful community, this beautiful town, um, just uh, to continue to give back to this beautiful community and beautiful town. Uh, and that's why I'm looking for mayor. That's why I, I think this team uh, believes in me and, and I believe in them. Very good, Commissioner. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in. You have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.